Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. So we are at day four of wearing my CGM blood glucose monitor patch. So last night something interesting happened. I didn't know this was possible for, I want to say quote unquote normal people, people with a working pancreas, people that do not have type 1 type 2 diabetes. I actually dropped to a 3 in the middle of the night. See that red right there? I didn't even know I could drop down that low. I generally don't eat when it's dark, I try and eat with the daylight like we should but I was quite hungry when I got home from work at 8pm and I had just a grass fed protein, it was whey protein shake with some um, coconut milk so I was surprised that I dropped, I guess that was fat and protein for dinner but we'll see what else happens throughout the next couple weeks. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to scan it, I am at a 5.7 so I'm a little bit high. Um, I did just have a kombucha, but that shouldn't have brought it that high. But I did just walk in the house and I am my adrenaline and all that's going. I did just go to the physio. If you're wondering why I've got my thumb taped, I do jiu-jitsu and I did some stuff to this ligament. So it's not getting better, so I've taped this and taped my foot and all the fun stuff for train today. But on point, what we're doing today, Chobani yogurt. Um, I think this might be just Australian. Is this around the world? It's in Australia. Anyway, so it is a really yummy, popular yogurt, considered healthy. It is extremely high in protein. It is 10 grams of protein. Okay, not extremely high. 186 calories in this, but the carbohydrates is 23 grams of carbs and 17.7 .7 grams of sugar. Now, in today's eight day and age, we call this a healthy snack, go-to snack. Um, this is the key lamb crumble flavor, so I'm curious to see what this does in comparison to my video from yesterday, which was the Coca-Cola and the juice with that spike where I got to 9.3 or 9.7 was my highest. I'm pretty pumped to see how high I go because this does have uh, protein and about 5.3 grams of fat with it, so it shouldn't spike like the pure juice and the Coca-Cola did. So we, uh, let's have a play, huh? What a tough, what a tough challenge I'm giving myself, having to eat all this delicious food just to see what it does to my blood sugar levels as a test. What do I do in the name of science? If you don't lick the packets, you don't get the whole goodness. Definitely near my choice in flavour. Just on a side note of that high reading of that 5.7, I think it was just because I just walked in the door and I've been busy and all my adrenals were going and so etc. Because then it dropped down to 5.1 and then it's got a 4.9 which is back into that perfect range. So I think I just had that spike because I was going crazy and running around and doing stuff and having just that time. Now I sat and just relaxed for 5 minutes, it's only dropped down to a 4.9 which is awesome. So we are now hidden at a 7.3 and it's been about an hour. So I'm going to keep monitoring it on my way to Jiu-Jitsu. And I'm hoping it starts to drop before I get to Jiu-Jitsu training so I kind of see where my spike and drop is. I'm really hoping I don't miss it. And we hit a spike. It took about an hour to hit a spike. I'm feeling like that's generally what it takes whenever you eat something quite sweet or sugary or carbohydrate. Anything that really spikes your insulin. An hour seems to be the sweet spot. Although I'm noticing with fruit, fruit is going within 30 minutes and then back out before the hour. So fruit really does this like in and out. Whereas anything else that's not necessarily like a fruit, a little bit like not as healthy, is starting to take about an hour, oh, like a juice or something. It's starting to take about an hour to get in and about an hour to drop. So my max with this one was about a 7.3. And that is very similar to when I had the nectarines. So fruit gets me around the same sugar. So it must have very similar and similar reaction to my insulin. But this did take an hour to crawl up and an hour to crawl back down. Whereas when I had fruit, within an hour it was very in and out. So this has all definitely got me thinking, like I'm self-experimenting and no one's really got many answers and online I'm not really finding the information I want. But I'm trying to figure out, is it healthier to just eat fruit if you're going to allow yourself to have, oh, I'm losing my camera. Is it healthier to just eat fruit if you are going to allow yourself to have those spikes because it just goes in and out and you're not sitting in it very long? Whereas when we're having something like this, like the Japani yogurt or the Coca-Cola or juice, we are taking a long time to spike up so your body's sitting in it longer and we stay up there longer and we come back down a lot. It takes a lot longer to come back down. So is that is that the bad thing that everyone's worried about as opposed to the fruit is literally in and out whereas all these you're sitting in it. So I found one thing with food yesterday is when I had the juice, 
that I went up and then as I was coming back down I ate food and because of the food it actually kept me riding for a while and took ages to come back down even though my food was healthy and not very high in carbohydrates it just had like vegetables and some basic things so because it did this it started to come like this so my theory is maybe when we're eating something unhealthy we should have it on its own and let it drop in and out as fast as possible to get our body back to that base rate as opposed to having let's say cake and candy and coke and then going to have a salad or even no matter what it is but you're keeping your sugar levels quite high whereas if we eat candy and we don't touch anything for about two three hours and let it get completely back down to base level Maybe that is the healthy way to go. So it's really hard to tell because no one really has any answers and I'm just trying to self-experiment. So well, I guess I'll hopefully I'll try and figure it out. So one thing I did notice is my jujitsu spiked my insulin quite a bit. So tomorrow, hopefully, or not tomorrow, so next week, I'm going to do jujitsu with the thing in and I'm going to not have food for a couple hours prior and see how it spikes up during my training and how long it takes to spike back down because of adrenaline and all the other hormones that are going through my body. But thank you guys for watching my video if you haven't already. Subscribe button down there. Sorry if these videos are a little bit messy. I'm really trying to experiment on myself and try and get this information out so I can kind of figure it out and if anyone has any advice for me or tips or ideas um, then you guys could kind of help me out on my own little journey so in the meantime keeping strong happy and healthy